What is your last name? Marie. Okay. We're dealing with law enforcement. We're dealing with a shooting and a gang. I am recording you now. You have five days for him to call me back. If he does not do that, that will be a separate assignment. Actually, I think I explained to you on that day, that is the day for settlement where we, the DA's office makes an offer and the kid, um, the accused person can either take that offer or they can set it for trial at that point or we can agree to do some more investigation and those kinds of things. And it is only for the DA's office, the defendants and their attorneys and parents, of course. Um, on those days, we don't bring victims in and we don't bring witnesses in because it's not at an actual hearing uh, where we would introduce testimony. And I'm not, I'm not even sure how you got information that the trial date was that day. I was asked to come to it. Settlement date. Okay. I was asked to come to it when I filled it out. I was asked to bring witnesses. Who asked you to do that? I'd like to know. That person needs to be identified. It's whomever in your office... I was in there twice, filled in two different reports, and I was given um, the date, 1 o'clock on December 4th, I think, mm -hmm. and was told to come and, and of course, bring, bring anybody, and we brought another witness. And I, I don't, I'm not even sure who it is that you spoke with. No, I sure wish I knew. Was it a woman, a man? A woman. A woman. Um, because that was the wrong information that she gave you. Um, Well, I, I don't have a complaint about how the um, culprit was handled. You can always say somebody should get more time or more punishment. I'm not into that. I don't understand why you suppressed and did not acquire the name of the person who fired the pistol or the gang members. Those are not things that he is charged with, or that um, Chad Folks is charged with. He is supporting a guy who fires. I, the word charge is interesting. I've been asked several times what the charges were. I fill out the form that says, quote, explain in detail what this child did. And I supply full information. Then the information is suppressed or reduced. It's like you want to do as little as possible, which is what you accomplish. You do not want to know who the gang is. And we had a um, previous police chief who went around denying gang existence. Right. Well, I think, I think everybody is clear on the fact that there are some gangs here in Nashville um, and certainly a lot of the people who come in contact with this court mm -hmm. um, are aware of them or maybe are even part of them. Gave the license plate number. It says here, gunshots were fired. A witness left with his life. A witness, is that we honor? If that's, if anyway, license plate number, and then it says around 15 gang members were seen. Mm -hmm. um, Pardon? The of the gang shooter? No. It's of... Um, an unknown gunman. Oh, the, the gunman. It's the gunman. Uh, no, no, not the person who shot the gun, just, just someone who works with guns. Oh, so somebody. It's definitely a 357 Magnum. Yes. Island. Just one second. Uh, you're saying what? Is my son to speak? The, the license plate number is of a man who was in the parking lot, heard the shots. Yes. And he said he worked with guns a lot and identified them. As from a 357 magnet, yeah. a 9 and Okay. Came okay. What this was was a witness to the shooting only. His license plate, we only knew his license plate number. He was a gang dealer, and he identified the pistol as being a 357 Magnum, mm -hmm. which is what we stayed in here. Was that a separate incident? No. If, this I, is, if I recall correctly, you, you said that your son was beaten up pretty badly by Charles Folk. Charles Yeah, we have... Um, we have two events, but this is all in the same event in a parking lot. And um, one second, I have another call. Hello? Is Natalie there? No, she's out still with Mother. I'm on another business call. Sorry. Thank you for waiting. No, uh, my statement here says, he grabbed David Ang from behind, beat his head with his knuckles over and over. Gunshots were fired. Witness left, but his license plate is 526ZG, uh, something, around 15 gang members seen. Okay. And, um, and were, were you alleging that, that Chad fired the gun? No. Okay. Uh, that would be a totally separate petition. Yes, but I, 
ma'am. At some point, we're going to have anger, which I so I do not understand in a free country why you cannot ask the boy who fired the pistol or who any of his gang members okay. were. I think I explained. I'm almost certain I explained to you. I represent the state, and so I'm not at liberty to ask a defendant multiple questions about things. One the question. The police department can do that, and if. It's I called the police, and they were very upset. The, the policeman who came there said the juvenile court just covers, drops all these things and, and rehabilitates. And I, I have, I have the police. This I is, certainly don't think you can say that that happened in this case because we went out of our way to get um, everything that you wanted in the case. No, you did not get the, the, the names of one of no. What, yeah. Well, in, in terms of doing what it is that the DA's office is charged to do, and that's prosecuting cases. We didn't I didn't use the word prosecute. I didn't use, first of all, one thing at a time, I didn't use the word prosecute. I want the totality of information. Well, that's what information. the DA's office does. We prosecute the cases. We don't investigate them. That's what I'm saying to you. when you. I turn it in, court. though. Once you, once you deal with me, you can't turn me off. I turn in 15 gang members' existence and a shooting, uh -huh. and then you cut me out and cut that off. Well, that is itself criminal. You, we didn't cut you off, or we didn't cut that out. That is not what we do. We prosecute cases. We look at the evidence. We call in witnesses. We go up to court. You mean if I... So if you, if you have witnessed something or if you've, if you've experienced something and you want or need more information about who it is that did that thing to you, the police department is where you go because they... We are told on juvenile we must turn all of this in, and I was told to come to the case. And you are failing to provide law enforcement by not asking who fired the shot. Okay, and I've explained to you we cannot ask a defendant questions. What would happen to you if you had asked? Would you be fired, sued, jailed? Answer. Uh, I am under an ethical obligation not to speak with the defendant without his attorney present. His attorney was he present, I'm sure. to speak with me. He does not have to. But his attorney, did you ask anyway? I, I, I don't do that. You That's did not ask who fired the gun? No, I did not, and I will not. And that is not part of what um, I'm charged with doing. Now, if you want to know who fired the gun, you are so welcome to call the police department. But it is absolutely futile to try to get the DA's office to do something that, that we are not supposed to do. You're supposed to not do that? Who exactly. who knows that you're supposed to not do that? It's in, it's in our, our district attorney's statement of oath, and it's also in um, our ethical rules as attorneys. So, we have our role in this thing. And so if I, together. if I rape a woman... Thing, if you'll let me finish, we all function together and we all have our roles, and we will not step outside of our prosecutorial role to do something that is not at all within our purview. So if I rape somebody uh, and you're charging me and prosecuting me, you will not ask me who raped the other woman next to me. I am. Not, I will not be able to do that. An investigator from the police department will speak with Why don't you? And will ask you questions. Why didn't you ask the police then to interrogate this boy because you got my document because they need to speak with you about that oh you i get, i turned it in to you that that is not the proper procedure what is your name excuse me let me get your last name it's shelly neal shelly neal n-e-a-l yes okay we will we will make this uh your statement is uh, that you do, that you have not the right to ask him who fired the pistol. Yes, my full statement is that if you are alleging that he fired a pistol, my son, my son is the witness to this. Then you all need to contact the police department. You have the right to not ask what I turned in to you. Yeah, we prosecuted the charge that you turned into us. I, the word charge, don't use that anymore. Here's the word that you... Well, that's, that's the correct charge, Mr. A. Ma'am, ma let's the start with... conversation that we've had, and at this point, I, I really don't see the point in going on. I've answered your question. No, you haven't. I, I said explain in detail with this child... ...organization that can help you if you want help, but what it sounds like is what you really want to do is complain. Now, you've got institution, the child that's played guilty to the charge that you charged him with. Uh, Ma'am... All of those things that we had evidence to prove. Now, what else is it that you expect us to do that is within our purview. I didn't use the word charge. Okay, well... And, then, and I used... I, I, the I, crime that you alleged he did, we've prosecuted that. We've taken crime. the law. 
It is a crime. It is a crime to. Yes, it is a crime to suppress. Uh, you mean if I kill somebody and somebody hands me the gun, you're. This is not a class in rhetoric. This Let me finish. Let me finish. Why? Let me finish. Let me finish. You I'm have. I'm not going to entertain rhetorical questions. If you have a specific question for me. Yes, I do. Is, why do you, Why do you not ask him who shoots the gun? I have explain to you. He is represented by an attorney. Who is? Chad Folk. Why didn't you ask his attorney who shot I'm not the pistol? To speak with him. Not allowed to ask his attorney. I can ask the attorney anything. Why didn't you? Because we were prosecuting an assault charge. You're saying you have the right to suppress and not investigate who fired the pistol. I do not do investigation. This is in court. The police department investigates charges. I don't know how. Who is your supervisor? I don't, I don't know another way I can tell you. Who that. is your supervisor? I work for um, the district attorney general, and I'm sure you know who he is. Shook. Is his name? No. I was told that the judge who cannot and will not phone me, it works for that well-known, famous uh, um, judge. Um, um, Mr. Ng, is there anything else I answer for you? You have not answered my basic question, so uh, I'll have to deal with someone else than you. We'll be moving forward into print. We do not attend the settlement date because what it is, the state will ask 